Hello, we are Sugar3 and this is our video for Workshop 10 and today we'll be talking to you about Nike shoes. With their exceptional marketing strategy, they are now one of the world's most renowned sports shoes brand. This is the first level segmentation of the market. We segment it based on gender, men, women and different age. As you can see, the largest consumer of sports shoe is adult male, so we're going to focus in this segment. For the second level market segmentation, we divide it into sport and price. This is because Nike wants to cater to different sports that men play and the different budget that they have. As you can see, for football and above 100 pounds, this is where the largest market segment are. That's where we'll look into. We have further segmented it into third level, which is attributes against position. As we can see on this graph, the larger the boxes, the more important the attributes for each position. Knowing this, Nike has designed various range of products in order to cater this segment of market. This will be covered in our 4P analysis. On the product, we have identified four product ranges for football shoes. Firstly, Nike designed the Mercurial to be targeted to wingers and fullbacks. The Magista was developed for midfielders. Uh, the Hyper Venom was uh, designed to be sold to forwards. And the Tiempo is ideal for defenders. Hence, the four product ranges meet the requirements of all of Nike's customers within the segment. The Nike football boots are priced at three different price levels. There's the high end, the mid range, and the low range. The high, uh, the high range is priced at more than 100 pounds, while the low range is priced at less than 50 pounds. The price of the boots reflects on the quality of the material used, such as high end is using K leather, while the low and the mid range is using synthetic leather. The price reflects on how much the consumers are willing to pay according to their budgets. On place, Nike reckons that they can sell their goods at Nike Town, their main flagship shop in Oxford Street. Also, sports shops such as Sports Direct, as well as their own online shop as well. These three shops helps customers to buy their products easily. On top of that, their online shop helps customers to customize their selected products, which is something that they really want. So, talking about promotion, Nike is the champion brand builder in the world. One of its slogans, Just Do It, has moved beyond advertising into popular expression. Nike get to the current level by using mainstream apps in cooperate with small celebrities. Additionally, Nike tried to put emotions into their shoes. Therefore, the customer who wear their shoes would have the feeling that the product is superior compared to other brands. So, this is Nike's product life cycle. In an introductory phase, Nike starts with advertisement, which creates a sense of anticipation, which evolves into an aggressive advertisement strategy in a growth phase. Nike also releases their product to other distributors. In a third phase, Nike starts with aesthetic changes, which slowly increases sales volume. Eventually, when the refreshment strategy fails to increase sales volume, Nike starts the phasing out process. They start developing a new model, and the cycle repeats itself. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook.